We need to take care of our health as we age. That is a fact. We all have just one body to live in. You have only one mind and body for the rest of your life. If you aren't taking care of them when you're young, it's like leaving that car out in the hailstorm and letting the rust eat away at it. If you don't take care of your mind and body now, by the time you're 40 or 50, you'll be like a car that can't go anywhere. Now, if you're hearing this quote and thinking, oh no, it's too late for me. I'm already in my 40s, 50s or 60s. Well, no worries, my friend, because it is never too late which leads to the first tip. Number one tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Never say it is too late. Cultivate a mindset that it is never too late. No, it is never too late to learn something new. Never too late to try something new. Never too late to meet someone new. We humans are creatures of habit. So once we get used to doing something or not doing something, we don't want to change. It is so hard to try something new and different, especially as we get older. So we say, oh, it is too late for me. It is too late for me to earn that degree. It is too late for me to start that business. It is too late for me to run that marathon. Well, apparently someone forgot to tell that to Harriet Thompson. Harriet Thompson is a classical pianist and a cancer survivor who started to run marathons when she was 76 years old. At the age of 91 years old, she ran the 2014 San Diego Marathon in 7 hours, 7 minutes and 42 seconds, setting the record for the fastest time for a woman over 90 years old. Even though she never ran more than short distances most of her life, Harriet didn't let that fact stop her. She decided to tackle her first marathon after learning that it was raising money for cancer charity, and she didn't stop. So never think that it is too late. The only limitation is within your own mind. And once you can free yourself from your own limiting belief, the world is your oyster. So go out and take it. If at this age I can do anything positive, that's wonderful. But let's say you're still having a hard time reframing your perspective. Then what? Which leads to the next tip. Number two tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and a body as we age. Cultivate a growth mindset. Kara Dweck, a Stanford psychology professor, first coined this term growth mindset to describe a belief that intelligence and ability can grow with effort. The opposite of a growth mindset being a fixed mindset, that your qualities are unchangeable. When there's a setback, someone with a fixed mindset will start thinking, maybe I don't have what it takes. They may get defensive and give up. But if we want to cultivate a healthy body and mind as we get older, we want to cultivate a healthy growth mindset. A growth mindset where we believe we can get better with enough practice and effort. It is only with a growth mindset that we'll push ourselves to attempt new adventures in life. Because the way I look at it, what is life if we're not constantly learning and trying new things? For me, it is when I grow, no matter how hard that growth may be, I feel alive and invigorated. The hallmark of a successful people is that they're always stretching themselves to learn new things. Alright, but what is one of the best ways to learn new things? Which leads to the next tip and my personal favorite. Number three tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Simply read more. If we encounter a man of rare intellect, we should ask him what books he reads. I'm a firm believer that reading is an activity that will pay dividends until the day we die. Reading opens our minds to new places, new events, and new people. Just a few hundred years ago, access to books was limited to only the rich and powerful. And most people actually didn't even know how to read. The literacy rate of the world's population from secondary school age onward was only 12% in 1820. That is only one person in 10. But today, not only do common folks like us have access to books, but more books than all the kings and queens in the past could have imagined. In my Kindle, if I find a book I find interesting with one click, I'll have it right there on my palm. I mean, talk about a genie in the bottle, right? So bottom line, if you want to cultivate a growth mindset and a mindset that is not afraid to try new things, read. And don't think you have to continue to read new books all the time. I personally like to reread my favorites because I feel like I'm learning something new every time and that keeps my mind fresh and sharp. But before we move on, in the theme of better taking care of ourselves, let's talk about taking care of our online security. These days, we're all spending more and more time on the internet. Work, entertainment, a way to connect with others. Thus, we naturally leave some trace of ourselves somewhere online. And if we're not careful, our information can be used against us. That's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits an opt-out request for me. Why is this important? Do a quick exercise. Do a Google search for your name or email address and see what comes up. When I first did this, I was quite uncomfortable with what I found. My full name, email, home address, previous employer, and even a few of my relatives. For me, Aura's already had 21 successful data broker removals with 11 more in progress. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I receive, but it protects me from questionable characters online, especially hackers. Hackers who could use this information to access my social media accounts or even my bank accounts. And this is more important than ever with the recent data breaches popping up. 
Most recently, AT&T revealed that over 73 million customer records, both existing and former customers, were released on their dark web. If you are part of the 73 million, what can you do? They recommend those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Well, Aura does all this for me. And the best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because a company couldn't keep my data secure. If my information was compromised in the AT&T breach, I wouldn't worry. Because Aura is always on, always doing the hard work of keeping me safe. I value my privacy and I value yours. So go to my special link at aura.com slash financial tortoise to start your free two-week trial today. That's right, it doesn't cost anything to test out this powerful tool. I also have a link in the description below. In today's digital age, we must do all we can to protect our personal information online. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe so you can focus on more important things in your life. All right, with that said, let's get back to the video. Number four tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Cultivate healthy relationships by listening more. Listening better. We all know that healthy relationships are the foundation of a healthy mind and body. But how to cultivate healthy relationships? Well, it all starts with listening. One of the biggest reasons why relationships, friendship or romantic ones struggle, is because one or the other party doesn't feel heard, understood, and valued. However, when we learn to listen and listen well, we show the other person that we value and respect their thoughts and opinions. Here are my two favorite strategies to listen more and listen better. One, when talking to someone, give my full attention. I put away my phone, close the door, look at the person in the eye, and do my best to give undivided attention. Second, resist the urge to interrupt. And to be honest, this is the one that I struggle with the most because my brain naturally gravitates towards solutions when someone is sharing their challenge. But resist the urge, listen and wait. Wait until they're done speaking, and only when you're invited, give your two cents. But we can't spend our whole life always listening to people. To cultivate a healthy mind and body, we need a balance, which leads to a next tip. Number five tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Embrace alone time. All of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. Do you sometimes feel restless when you're alone? Do you have a hard time managing all the weird thoughts that come to your mind when you're sitting in silence? Don't worry, you're not alone. This is very natural. The important thing here isn't the fact that you have these weird, often stressful thoughts. It is that we need to cultivate the ability to manage them in a healthy way. Well, how to do this? Well, it starts with embracing alone time. Not seeing being alone in our room as a negative activity, rather as a time where we can wrestle and engage with our thoughts in a healthy way. Not resisting it, not being afraid of it, but rather recognizing and responding in a positive way. One of my favorite activities when I'm alone is to write. Writing helps me to articulate my thoughts and feelings in a concrete way. And most often, they're just a jumble of words, but they're my words. And when I place pen on paper, it gives me a sense of control over my life. It helps me to have a greater sense of self-awareness about myself my fears, my aspirations, things I didn't even know I was struggling with. Bottom line, don't be afraid of alone time. If we want to cultivate a healthy mindset as we get older, we want to embrace it. Sitting quietly, doing nothing. Spring comes and the grass grows by itself. A quick reminder before we move on to the next point. Make sure to download your free one-page PDF companion guide that goes along with this video. Everything I'm covering here in a simple to digest, one-page format. Go to the link I'll have in the description below to grab your free copy. Number six tip to cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Limit unhealthy relationships. Relationships that make you feel unsupported, disrespected, and overall, just not good about yourself. Relationships are important to living long and healthy lives. However, it has to be the right ones. Because while healthy relationships have the effect of lifting you up to the next level, the wrong ones will drag you down into the abyss. A good way to better manage relationships is to learn to set boundaries well. Boundaries, essentially having the courage to say no to certain people and certain social situations, are important because they're directly tied to our self-esteem. When we don't know how to set boundaries, we can feel taken advantage of and thus spiral downward into an unhealthy mental state. However, when we learn how to set healthy boundaries, we're able to use those boundaries to create a more empowering life for ourselves. And our mental well-being and our physical health are better for it. So practice setting boundaries especially with people that do not bring the best out of you. And focus on fostering better relationships with those that help you become the best version of yourself. Number six tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Limit social media. It's not a surprise to hear that many studies have shown reduction in stress and increase in productivity when participants were forced to limit the amount of time they spent checking social media and their devices in general. And many of us don't need studies to validate this fact. We all experience this firsthand one way or the other. How do we feel after mindlessly scrolling Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? None of us come out saying, wow, I feel invigorated. I feel engaged and refreshed to take on the world. No, it's the opposite. Our brain feels sapped, our energy level is down, and we have a hard time getting on with our day in a healthy way. One of my favorite tactics to reduce social media's hold on my life is to completely remove app from my phone. 
no Facebook app, no Instagram app, no TikTok on my phone. I do still have access to it via my desktop, but when I don't have the temptation on my phone, it really helps me to reduce the amount of time I would spend mindlessly scrolling. Number eight tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Limit alcohol. If possible, eliminate it. Yes, I know. This is a controversial statement if you enjoy alcohol. And I know there's nothing inherently wrong with alcohol in itself, but that is only if we learn how to manage it. But most people who actually have problems with drinking too much alcohol are the worst ones to self-diagnose. There is a reason why we have the 12 Steps Alcoholics Anonymous. Too much alcohol has ruined too many lives and kept too many people from living out their best life. So if being around certain people makes you drink more, going back to our talk about boundaries, steer clear of those people. If being under stress tempts you to drink, cultivate healthy ways to cope with stress. Journaling, exercising, socializing with supportive people. Number nine tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Maintain a low fixed cost. This is a personal finance YouTube channel, so I do have to talk about money at least a little bit, right? The source of many people's stress starts from money. That, if you're watching this channel, is a fact. And there is a lot that goes into de-stressing our relationship with money. But one of my favorite practical strategies is this. Maintain a low fixed cost lifestyle. Essentially a lifestyle that doesn't have high ongoing cost. This includes your mortgage payment, recurring expenses for your utilities, car payment, food, and everything that pretty much goes into taking care of you and your family. When you have low fixed costs, this not only gives you much flexibility to try new things in life, like we mentioned earlier, pursuing new adventures because of our growth mindset, it is a lot less stressful. If your ongoing lifestyle costs you $30,000 a month because you have a crazy big mortgage and very expensive car, even if you make a lot of money to cover that expense, there's a natural hum of stress underneath, which in turn affects our ability to cultivate a healthy mind and body. But when you can keep your fixed costs at bay, that is one less factor you have to worry about in an already crazy busy life. Number nine tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. In the line of what we put into our bodies, eat real food. Real food that is close to its natural state as possible, minimal processing, and free of chemical additives. If you go to any grocery store, there is more processed food than real food. They have a longer shelf life, they're cheaper, and because they're loaded with high sodium and sugar, people come back for more. If you grew up eating Pop-Tarts for breakfast, Lunchable for lunch, and Spam for dinner, it's hard to break the habit. But if you want to cultivate a healthy mind and body that will serve you for many years, it starts with what we put into our body. For me, a question I ask myself whenever I have food choice is this. How far is this from its natural state? An apple is pretty close to its natural state. It came from the apple tree in that form. An apple pie came a little further, but I still see some chunks of real apples in there. An apple flavor Pop-Tart that came really far. I doubt there is any nutrition left from the apple there. Don't eat anything your great grandmother wouldn't recognize as food. Number 11 tip to best cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Sleep more. Again, this is another one of those things we don't need scientific studies to tell us the obvious. After a good night's sleep, all of us admit we feel a thousand times better than a day where we did not sleep enough or had a bad night's sleep. So simply, if you want to cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age, prioritize sleep. Go to bed earlier than you're used to. My target time is between 10 to 11 p.m. Remove all tech devices from your bedroom and create an ideal sleeping environment. Dark, clean, comfortable sheets, and my personal favorite, shredded foam pillow to rest my head in. Number 12 tip to cultivate a healthy mind and body as we age. Walk more. Specifically, walk outside more. Methinks that the moment my legs begin to move, my thoughts begin to flow. Again, you don't need scientific studies to validate the benefit of walking outside. When you walk around the neighborhood, your local park, or just by a tree, how do you feel? Most likely a bit better. The fresh air rejuvenates you, the natural surroundings stimulate your senses, and you just become more mindful of yourself. If you work behind a desk like myself, it may be hard to find the time to do this on a regular basis. But don't think you have to hike two hours. Even a five minute walk to your neighborhood will help you cultivate a healthy mind and body. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you, and the storms their energy, while cares will drop off like autumn leaves. Thank you guys for watching, and the line of aging and how to live our best life, please check out my video here on things we should let go as we age. Until next time, all the best.